This effect is of an old time 35 millimeter camera viewfinder. It's kind of a composite of various cameras. It's pretty simple. It's got a focus and exposure, which is this needle here. Uh, back in the old days when you had the proper exposure, the needle would line up in the, inside the circle somewhere. It's got f-stops over here and the shutter speed down here. It has a micro prism effect and a split screen rangefinder right in the center, right there. It has a built-in shutter animation, which is this section over here. The mirror closes, the shutter curtain transports and closes, and the mirror opens up again. It's kind of a hokey animation, I know, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Uh, it has to be keyframed in order to work. Keyframing this from 0 to 100 will animate the sequence. I've got a little color distortion control here. It's called Antique. It's kind of a fixed control. It doesn't do much, but vary the color a little bit and the saturation of the overlay. It gives you a little bit of an old time feel. Uh, you have shutter speeds from bulb to 2000 and these can be keyframed to change to suggest somebody changing the shutter speed on the camera. It defaults to 60. It's got a little needle on the f-stop. It's built like this to simulate the click stops on the lens ring. In real life, that didn't really happen. You could do partial or in-between f-stops, but for this, I just decided to keep it more mechanical looking. Your exposure needle all the way to the left is all the way down, all the way to the right is all the way up, and in the middle is a good exposure. Focus at minus 100. Focus at plus 100. There's not really a lot of difference. What gets to be uh, the greatest part of the effect is when you're near zero. And as you move from out of focus into focus, then everything smooths out. It's really a nice effect. A lot of times you're just going to have to double click on the focus and type zero in there to get it to actually stick on zero. It's just the way Final Cut is right now. And for the focus control, you can go in And for the video animation, for the focus, you can ease in and ease out. Uh, to do this in Final Cut Pro 10, control click on the line between the keyframes and select the type of transition that you want. And you can click and drag to change the effect a little bit, not a lot. So that you can get a smooth animation through the points, which is pretty important for the focus effect at least. 